The short answer is yes. Apple cider vinegar does work as an effective bug repellent. But in this video, let's look at the qualifiers and parameters so you're using it safely and effectively. There are three main ways to use apple cider vinegar as a bug repellent. Topically, aromatically, and internally. When used topically, a small amount is applied directly to the exposed skin. In my experiment, this method was more effective than store-bought repellent, however, the effects lasted only until the apple cider vinegar evaporated, so anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. Now, it should be said that if you put a teaspoon on a rag and keep that rag nearby or in your back pocket, the effects can last up to 2 hours, so it's not a bad method per se, it's just not very efficient. When used as an aromatic, an amount is diffused into the air, typically via steam. It was difficult to say if it was effective or not, because even in the steam column, I still got bit a whole ton. So I wouldn't recommend this method due to its ineffective nature, and it just smells terrible. <coughs> when used internally, however, the effects were very clear. The amount that you take varies depending on body weight, but it's roughly 1 teaspoon per 40 pounds or 18 kilograms rounded up. So if you weigh 90 pounds, you'll take 3 teaspoons because you round up to weigh 120. The length of effectiveness also varies depending on a few things, but let's look at some observations first. When used correctly internally, the apple cider vinegar is effective and at times more effective than store-bought repellent, but the effectiveness starts about 30 minutes after consumption and increases in strength, peaking about an hour and a half in. Furthermore, the effects last as long as 12 hours, so let's talk about what to do and what not to do to make it last that long. To increase the potency and decrease the time from consumption to peak, all you have to do is work up a sweat. The apple cider vinegar is excreted through your sweat in the oils, and the more you sweat, the more is excreted. Consequently, this decreases the amount of time that the apple cider vinegar is effective as a bug repellent. The amount of water you consume and the amount you sweat decreases the effective time of the apple cider vinegar by half or more. That being said, there is one thing you do not want to do. Anywhere between the peak point and the end of effectiveness, do not wash the oils off. Yes, you can wash your hands, but don't go swimming or play in the sprinkler or take a shower. This washes the oils off and resets you to square one, which leaves you susceptible to bug bites. Apple cider vinegar is effective for ticks, mosquitoes, and flies. However, it is not for biting gnats. In my experience, the gnat bites were lessened, but not substantially so. So let's recap. The amount you consume is one teaspoon per 40 pounds or 18 kilograms, rounded up, taken all at once. The effective time as a repellent starts about 30 minutes after consumption and lasts a minimum of 2 hours and a maximum of 12 hours. And finally, stay away from activities involving water, as this will wash off the repellent, leaving you defenseless against the bugs. It should be said that the higher the humidity, the less effective and long-lasting the internal method becomes. In high heat and humidity situations, putting a teaspoon on a rag and keeping it nearby is the far superior method. So that about sums up my findings. Next I think I'm going to look into vitamin B1, B2, and B12 and see how those fare. But until I see you in the field, happy hunting.